going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day today. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to make this video and done edit it. Well, done actually done delete this one three times. This is number four take. Click. But anyway, this is one uh, bouncing off the trans uh, transmission video that I put out today. Uh, I, just in case some people have had some issues. And I know in that video, I said foot pounds, I meant inch pounds, but it was still, Dodge was still wrong on there. I talked to another transmission shop and it said to torque them at 15 inch pounds. But I'm not using a torque wrench at all no more. I'm just gonna do the hand tight thing like I always do. Now I did strip out one or two of them boats. But the good thing about it is, well, not really a good thing, but if this ever happens to you in a Dodge, the Dodge comes up with a little bitty boat and they actually got a whole lot more room. So all they did was took that boat and got another one that was longer and put it right up in there and tighten right up like it never was. So all I'll do now is I'll, I'll mark them with some paint so I'll know whenever I take them out to do it the next time that they go in the same hose. So I didn't have to do anything there. Now, a couple of things I, I was talking to a transmission guy that I wanted to pass along for information just in case y'all do it. Now, the first time I changed my transmission, I didn't have, I didn't have no problem. Uh, I took and dropped the pan and I seen how much of a mess it made. So I knew that next time I was going to do it, I was going to get that new pan with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the dream. It's going to make, make things a whole lot easier the next time. But, um, <clears throat> Whenever I dropped it, it comes with an O-ring. And the O-ring was stuck up in the hole, and it was dark, and, I went, and it was the first time. And I didn't, wasn't paying no attention, and I just took the new one out and stuck the new gasket on it, O-ring, and shoved it up in there, and then tightened everything up. Which, run fine for about 120,000 miles, and then when I changed it again, my truck wasn't driving right, it was, uh, it was transmitter was messed up and it was stuck in fourth gear. You cut it off and recycle everything, and or I took up my all tail out and deleted the codes and it would come back. So I didn't know what was going on. So I went to my mechanic that I use, and because he had to do alignment and put my new tires on anyway. But um, uh, they went, and since I had that new pan on, and it was brand new fluid I just put in since fluid is high. They got the drain, the, uh, my fluid out so they could reuse it. That's another good thing about the transmission pan. Um, and which it's gonna make it a whole lot easier whenever I sell, I mean, uh, whenever um, change change the, the next time, which should be another 110, 120,000 miles about when I do mine. <clears throat> but I'm no professional mechanic, just trying to help people out Pass along the information. But uh, some information that he gave me, I kind of wish I had the pan here. Now, whenever I, I used it, y'all seen I put the ceiling on it. Then I put the, the gasket on it. Then I put the ceiling on it again. Hold the gasket in place. Put it on there. Well, I've been doing that stuff for years on old vehicles, but I guess now uh, it's better not to use the seal. Better just use the gasket according to what they told me. I'm just passing the information along. If y'all have any different information, y'all can put it in the comments. But I'm just passing along what they give me to help somebody out. <clears throat> now, uh, because it leaves, if you put the seal stuff on, it leaves air pockets. And it makes the pressure not pressurized. And that's why I had the, the sensor code come on. And so that was one of the problems. But the other problem was the filter that I was using um, I guess they got some bad filters or ones that don't go right. I didn't go with the Dodge filters. But when I went back in the transmission shop, they put the Dodge filters on it and it cleared everything up. Now, now when you go to Dodge and get the, uh, a filter kit, it comes with two filters. They don't come with the gasket. So they went to O'Reilly and got a gasket and put the gasket on. <clears throat> but... Um, I was wanting to pass that little bit of information along. Um, that I hope this video helps out and plus takes, you know, add to the video. I wish I'd go back and edit the video that I've already put out, but once I upload them, I can't do nothing else with them. So I'm hoping this right here 
you know, help somebody out. So that's all I got for this one. Uh, see y'all in the next one. Y'all be safe out there.